Tony, uh, give me about another minute, okay? Give me about another minute. Uh, let's see, I'm looking for something. Hold up. Good morning. Let's sit for my microphone here. Good morning. Hello and welcome back. Uh, let's see if you're just joining us. Uh, my name is Hun. My channel is all about making better coffee at home. So this morning is special morning. Okay, it's today's Valentine's Day. So I got my red t-shirt on. I got some little bit of flower here, rose, for my wife. And I actually I got her a dozen. So that's just this uh, extra one. Uh, anyway, uh, so this I was planning on doing some the PID installation on my Rancheria Sylvia, but uh, I saw the manual is about 26 pages. And it's not as bad as a Gaja Classic, but I figure you know what I think I'm gonna do that the edited version of it. So so that's what we're gonna uh, that's what I'm gonna do the, do the uh, later this afternoon. So hopefully you guys are going to see it maybe next couple of days. So you guys, because I want to show you guys the actual installation of the video, not just kind of like live streaming, because it is nice to see the close up of all the wires and connectors. So, so that's what we're going to do. So this morning, I'm just going to make some uh, latte for my wife. Actually, we're going to do uh, cappuccino. Okay, I have this beautiful res, uh, res, uh, rose gold uh, cups from Not Neutral. And then uh, I got some monk fruit in it. It's nice and sweet. Okay, so I have my cat is again very active this morning, so I'm just gonna hold my wire. All right, so I'm gonna be using my uh, Brista Pro. I've been using it for the last couple of days and I'm getting used to it, but I mean, I can't wait to share with you uh, uh, end of this week, okay? Maybe next Friday or Saturday, I'll give you guys a full review on this one. And some things I like about it and some things I don't, okay? And so I'm going to share that with you uh, coming week. By the way, so comes the grinder size. I'm at number three. Uh, I'm doing this bean right here, uh, Espresso Vivace, okay? Number three is pre-love, which means I only have a two-step, that's it. And uh, the inside, the inner burr, I'm set at number six. So what I have to do is I have to Maybe tomorrow or so, maybe I'm going to show you guys how to uh, change the inner bird setting as well. So again, the plan for the coming week, I'm planning on using this machine for the next, what, four or five days. Show you guys the ins and out, and then give you guys a full review following weekend. And then also do the comparison between Brista Express versus Brista Pro, side by side comparison. It's going to be a lot of fun as well. All right, so you know what? You're not talking and let's make some coffee, okay? I'm just going to heat up my pour filter here. I'm going to share with you one thing, okay? I've been warming up for a good last 30 minutes. Warming tray is not that hot, okay? Compared to my Barista Express, it gets really warm, but this is not hot at all. My group head, still cold. So I think comes to warming up the machine don't bother on this guy okay yeah it's been 20 minutes uh, it's been 30 minutes it's still cold so i'm just gonna heat up by just a uh, flush of some hot water okay meantime i'm gonna i'm gonna do 20 gram on this one okay yeah again I don't know why it doesn't get hot. 
the grip head setting i'm not sure because with Brista express after like half an hour works like you know pretty warm okay i'm just gonna put 20 gram we got 19 you know what let's do 19 gram okay i got 19.2 gram in it okay and the grinder setting at number three again it's not it's not hot okay you want to be hot i'm just gonna flush one more time Now, water's hot, but pore filter, I mean, it's getting there, but it's not that great, though. So, I don't know. I mean, if you guys have Brista Pro, let me know about your warm-up process. I mean, again, uh, what a cup, a warming tray is not hot either. Yeah. I'm just gonna get all the beans out here. I mean, beans is, I mean, the grinder, even the same grinder, but for some reason a little quieter than Brista Express. Okay. All right, here I go. I'm just gonna distribute and temp. Okay. So let's give it a shot. So I think I'm gonna measure this time as well. I'm gonna, so this is about 19 grams. I'm planning on shooting for about between 30 and like 42 grams or so for my espresso shot. Okay. All right, let's give you guys a better look. I got 47 gram or so, 26 seconds. Again, that seems a lot faster. Right now we are at number setting, uh, grinder setting number three, which means I have to change my grinder setting even lower as well. I'm, I'm looking at least, actually it could be one, okay? And better yet, I better change my inner bird setting. I mean, that's what I have to do because three is way too low. Yeah, so I'll be, which, which means I have no room to go. Uh, again, I have a number three right now. I mean, goodness, two, I mean, we have two and one and that's it. So I'm pretty much low stake go, so. So maybe uh, tomorrow morning, maybe I'll show you guys how to adjust the interval setting because right now I'm at number six, so. Okay, so meantime, Let's uh, frost some milk. The frosting comes to frosting milk. They're really nice, okay? I mean, it takes, they have about four holes in it instead of one compared to Barista Express. But so far, that is the one thing I like about this machine, but we'll see how it goes. I'm using whole milk this morning. But you know what? I mean, here, let me show you close up here. This is really cool, okay? With the Brista Express, we, we have to wait a while. But with Brista Pro, I'm just gonna turn that on. Is that this fast? Okay. 
I mean, pretty impressive. I mean, really, really impressive. So, I mean, like our family, we do a lot of latte. I mean, I make about three latte in the morning, so having a good steaming is really good for our family. It seems like to me it goes really fast as well. It's about what, maybe 30 seconds maybe, not even? Milk is almost ready. seems quieter too. What do you guys think? I mean, is that quieter than Barista Express or I'm just gonna flush? I mean, the milk texture is also very nice. Like here, I mean, I'm really good. Okay, so let's do some morning art. Hopefully I can get a nice heart shape for my wife. That is the plan. So yesterday I made one, it was like broken heart, so. Okay, here we go. There we go, that's a lot better. A lot better than yesterday. It's kind of like cricket heart though, okay? It's not the... It's not the hard shape I want to be, but close enough, okay? But it comes to milk texture from Brista Pro, looks really good. Yeah, I mean, it's excellent. Okay, I'm just gonna give to, hand it over to my wife there. Hold on. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. I'm just gonna hand it to my wife. Thank you, thank you. And hopefully she enjoys the Valentine's morning Valentine's Day, small, kind of like la uh, cappuccino latte, pretty much all the same at this point. It's wonderful. Yeah. Okay. So for me, okay, for me, I guess I prefer like Americano. So let's do, let's make Americano, okay? Let's make Americano here. Okay. I mean, again, uh, nice and, the puck is nice and dry. Now it's nice and warm here. It's somewhat, somewhat hot, but not i want to be a little harder hotter so let's put it that way okay i'm just gonna warm up my cups okay by the way while <clears throat> using uh brista pro man i i feel like i'm wasting a lot of water okay because the group pays it doesn't get heat up so only way to heat up my portal filter is i mean just go through hot water that's it i mean if you guys have the same experience with it please let me know in the comment section as well and also my water is pretty low too you know what hold on i'm just gonna fill it up so this so this is like slightly larger than brista express okay slightly larger okay hold on I'm just gonna put some water in it from my refrigerator. Okay, I'm just gonna put some water in it. Okay, all right, so let's make some Americano. I'm just going to do another, you know what, let's do another 20. Actually, another 19 right here. I got 17, 18.5. <clears throat> I got 19.2 gram here, 19.2 gram. 
I mean, if you've just got this, if you are looking for some tools to help you making coffee, just get yourself cheap scale, okay? That make your life a lot easier. Okay. Here we go. So I set a 20 second grinding time, grinder time. Seems a lot to me, about one second for one gram, so. Yep, seems like one second for one gram. So if you put like 19 gram, put set at 20, you should be good. Okay. Again, pretty fluffy. By the way, so coming week, I have a bottomless pulley filter with the IMS, a filter basket set up for this machine. So I can't wait to share that with you. I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great, okay. Uh, about from this previous owner, he's like engineer and he actually uh, hacked the IMS uh, filter baskets so that he can use the precision basket for Brista Pro. Okay. It's gonna be, so this time I'm going to tempt a little harder, okay? Because the last shot was pretty somewhat fast, but whatever you temp a little harder, I think you can slow down the extraction there. So let's find out if that is true. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna answer that in about a little bit. Okay, so let's get going here. So this is, we're gonna do some Americano this time. So we are, uh, everything the same setting, but I tempt a little harder this time. A little better, isn't it? It does make a big difference. Sure looks good. Yeah, you know, yeah, that that worked. Okay, that worked. So I set a number setting as uh, three as last time, just like last time. So this time I tempt a little more firmer and harder, and then uh, look like I can slow down the extraction there. Okay, so with Brista Express, the, the faucet, how will it come out from here? Okay, remember that, if you haven't. But with Brista Pro, coming up from over there. So, theory is, once you pull the shot, just leave it there, simply flip on the your hot water. That's it. So that is how you make Americana with Brista Pro. That's, it is nice touch. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's try that, okay? I mean, as you can see, we got beautiful crema on the top. Yeah. I mean, if you guys like black coffee in the morning, I mean, be perfect, you know, I mean, that's pretty nice touch as well. I mean, I, I love the design of it. Again, I mean, I have a lot to say about this motion, so I think I'm gonna save that for coming week, okay. Cheers. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. It's okay, guys, it's, it's, it's good. The looks good, but the, I guess, I guess I'm so used to like, medium roast this is more like medium to dark very oily so i'm getting some more beans hopefully next few days and uh i know flavio uh sending me some beans uh coming week as well so i can't wait to try that one and also i'm getting some geisha beans uh hopefully next couple weeks it's gonna be really fun but it comes to you know if you guys want good black coffee that'll do okay this is not bad 
not bad at all. All right, so if you have any questions, you have quite a few. Okay, we have got some. Let's take some questions, okay? Um, why? What's with the new machine? Someone asked me what's with my new machine because you guys have been asking me about Pro for years, so I figured you know what. So um, I found this one on the the Facebook Marketplace and. I thought it was fair deal, okay? It wasn't a fantastic deal, but it was a good deal. The fair, let's put it that way. So it was a fair deal, so you know what? So I reached out to, you know, this person, and he happened to be one of my viewers as well. So, you know, we chit-chat a little bit, you know. That's why I don't mind paying, you know. I mean, I didn't negotiate that hard, okay? So, so yeah, I mean, that, that, that's the main reason I bought this one. Somebody asked, do you take the plastic disc out in the portafilter? Someone asked me, oh, for this one, I did not, okay? I did not. You have to save it then. So somebody asked me, someone asked me, do I take out the plastic thing? No. Because I, I want to experience with a full stock, okay? But again, is, if anybody had, uh, if anyone watching this with Brista Pro, I mean, share, uh, share with me about... Uh, just tell me about your warm tray, the warm-up tray, because it doesn't get hot, okay? I don't know about your machine, but with my Brista Express right now, I, I touch it, it's warm. So, yeah, if you have the same issues, please let me know. Mike said he is a little concerned about the heating unit of your Pro. It seems to be an issue. So Mike, uh, Mike asked me about the heating unit. Well, he said he's a little concerned that it's not working properly. Heating? heating unit in that pro. Yeah, again, so the heating unit on the top is warm, but it's not that warm, okay? It should be warm, but I mean, if you guys have pro, let me know in the comment section there. Because with my Rancholia Servia, obviously, you know, it's, that really gets really hot. With my Brista Express over there, I mean, it's not hot, but it's, you know, it's not cold either. I mean, this kind of like nook warm, so. Yeah, and also this pore filter, the grip head, get, uh, it doesn't get hot either. So I'm really, I don't know, maybe it's the design or I have a faulty machine, I'm not sure. Yeah, um, are you using the double wall pore filter? So, okay, I always use a single wall, okay? So I mean, if you are new to the express machine, double wall is a lot easier to use, which means you don't have to worry about grinder size much or grinder amount. So, but I mean, if you guys like to get the full experience with your espresso, yeah, make sure you use a single wall basket. Make sure you use a double size though. Now single, the single cup is hard to dial in anyway. So make sure you uh, use the double size single wall basket. Um, Florian asked, would you upgrade? or upgrade to a different machine from Express to Pro or a different machine altogether? Okay, if you have the Brista Express, my personal view, I don't go up to Brista Pro, okay? I want something, something better. But if you are planning on buying machine for first time, if a choice between Brista Pro, Brista Express, that's a tough call. So we are going to talk about the coming weekend. So I'm going to show you guys, you know, everything about this machine okay next yeah next or three four days we're going to talk about the grinder size how to change the upper bird setting as well we're going to talk about we're going to talk about everything about this machine so after i'm done with this machine you guys have a good feel of you know which machine you should get um what temperature is the water you okay so it comes to temperature wise uh, I wish, okay, since they are pro version, so I thought they're gonna give us better option for temperature. I, I was a little, little disappointed. Here, let me show you what, what I mean. So here's a click the menu button here. From here. So you only have four options. Because, so right now we are at default section, up, the same as Brisa Express, we got plus two and plus four. You got minus two and minus four, that's it. So I'm at default right now. Can you put a gauge and measure the, the temp of the water? Someone asked me how to put the gauge. You know what, uh, uh, let's do that coming week, okay? Uh, so one day we are going to talk about the water temperature and different settings. And then uh, 
let's measure the actual temperature coming out. So I do have all the equipments here. Because we could try and figure out what it's supposed to be and what it is. And sure. Maybe it's not right. You know? yeah. so, well, so, so we are going to, yeah, we are going to find that coming week. So a viewer asks, um, what is the pump pressure of the Pro? I've heard it would be less than the pressure of the Express. Does it take longer to get similar espresso from the Pro compared to ex Express? Okay, someone asked me about the pump pressure. Okay, I, unfortunately, I returned my uh, pump uh, pressure gauge because it was like leaking everywhere, but but what I noticed so far, the pump pressure is a lot more even than Brista Express, okay? Because uh, Brista Express, I go after about 13 bar, okay? Around 13 bar there. But with this one, that seems like more, I, I don't know. I mean, I, may, maybe I should get another one for pressure gauge, but yeah. This one seems a lot more stable. Let's put it that way. But plus, plus it's the beans I'm using as well, so. I'm getting some better beans, not the better beans, but different beans, like medium roast coming this week. So we are, we are going to do the proper test. So a viewer says, is it correct that the Pro has a volume metric pump so that you program the exact volume and it always delivers that, respective, irrespective of the grind size and tamp, whereas the Express just pumps for time? Okay, someone... Okay, someone... <laughs> Brista Express, the Brista Pro is a volume metric. I heard that before, but the regardless of, so I'm right now I'm gonna set a default, okay? So default uh, uh, setting, everything. So, but that's something uh, we are going to talk about coming week as well, okay? So we are going to talk about that volume metric. Is that truly volume metric or is that based on the time? Because Brista Express is based on time. You run for certain times and stop. If this is a true volume metric, that's pretty impressive. I mean, I mean, if this is truly a value metric, I mean, that's compared to like, you know, thousands of dollars. That's pretty much equivalent to, you know, thousands of dollars espresso machine. My Rancherio Silvia doesn't do that. And then I know for a fact, uh, Rancherio Pro, Silvia Pro does not do that either. So the rocket, Apramento, it's not a volumetric either. So, yeah, I mean, so that's something we are going to test it coming week. Um, what is the ratio of espresso to water for an Americano? Uh, talk about the ratio for Americano. You know what? So this is six ounce cup. So maybe like, I mean, you can do a lot more, okay? But I put about two ounces of espresso to like four ounces of hot water. So this is six, but hold on, hold on, no, this is like six, this is an eight ounce. I think this is an eight ounce cup. Maybe, you know what, I'm a little confused right now. I think this is, uh, this is, yeah, it's eight ounce cup here. That's eight ounce. So I do uh, two ounces of espresso and six ounces of water. So what is the benefit of taking off the plastic insert from the pore filter? Someone asked me about the, what's the benefit there. Okay, so the plastic, they keep the heat in it because in the morning, everything's all nice and cold. So imagine if you pull the shot with, you know, the bottom is going to be extremely cold, the metal. So it's going to cool down the shot. So that you're not going to get a good tasting espresso. That's why they have that plastic. But if you have warm up properly, you know, I know a lot of you out there took it out, so. What is, is it possible to make a proper cappuccino for two people at the same time using a Breville machine? Someone asked me about the make two cappuccino at the same time. Yes, you can, but, so you have to use a single shot, single shot of espresso. So we got the obvious, we got the two cups here. Yeah, but you cannot do the full size cappuccino for the same time. Will you try manual mode? Hold the button down for 10 seconds. Infusion default is five seconds, unlike the barista, which is 10 seconds. Again, so great thing about, uh, so this machine has a five second pre-infusion and also you can do the manual mode. So manual mode, you can actually adjust. Yeah, so we're gonna talk about the coming week, uh, coming week as well, because they got the two modes. We got the, uh, we got the custom mode and manual mode. So with the manual mode, 
I mean, you can have a 20 second infusion if you want to. So, but I mean, I guess personally, I prefer manual mode over program mode. But you know, all depends on what you guys like. So I'm gonna dig more into that the value metric side of it. I mean, if that's it, I haven't played with it yet for value metric. If that is true, I mean, this is truly, truly game changer. So Donald says he has a Bambino, not plus, and it is not hot, just like your pro. And then another viewer says the top doesn't get warm, perhaps because it's thermojet heating, which heats on the fly. Mine doesn't get too warm at the top too, but the group head gets rather hot after a blind shot. Sure. Uh, you know what? I think someone, uh, some viewer mentioned about the thermal block versus thermal jet, okay? Because thermal jet is kind of like on the fly, kind of like hot water heater, the instant hot water heater. But thermal block is actual thermal block. So it's make, it does make sense to me, okay? Because they sit right on the top right here, thermal jet. So, so does thermal block. So thermal block the, uh, retain the heat. I, I mean, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? I'm, I'm, I might be BSing, but <laughs> I'm just my guessing. So if you guys know the exact answers, yeah, please let me know in the comment section. Another viewer says, my Barista Pro doesn't heat up by just leaving it. It really needs to flush water to heat it up. Okay, so I got, I got another confirmation here. So only way to heat up this machine it's just you, you, got, you, you have to go through the uh, blind cycle, okay? Makes sense. So you have to do about three or four times. So in this machine, you don't have to warm up like Brista Express does. So, so we are going to test that coming week, okay? It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Um, Can't wait to share that with you guys. Justin asks, would you, tea market's competitive in China. Growers are starting to do coffee. Would you try? Chinese coffee. Chinese coffee? What do you mean Chinese coffee machine or Chinese coffee? Oh, coffee itself. They're starting to grow beans there. Man, Chinese... I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, friends in China, they are top of the game, okay? I mean... I mean, okay, so this is uh, my favorite San Anthony distribution tool. So this is 53.3 millimeter. Uh, so it, it's a retail for around 120 bucks. If you go to AliExpress right now, you can get a similar one for around 40 bucks. So... Uh, because uh, in China, obviously they are talking about value, okay? They're making thousands and thousands of times, so you can cut the cost. So this is in made in Utah, uh, made in, I believe in Salt Lake City or somewhere in Utah. There's everything's all handmade. I mean, you can tell from the, you know, way it feels, but I mean, if you guys are looking for like entry level tools, here's my recommend. If you have a Brista Pro at home, which means you don't need a timer anymore because it has a built-in timer, okay? So here, let me show you what built-in timer means. So I'm gonna start the shot. You know what, here, hold on a second. So here's what we're gonna do. We are talking about the value metric, okay? So let's find out. This is good. I'm really curious myself as well. I'm gonna zero it out. I'm just gonna pull the shot. This is a double shot, default. So whenever we start the shot, start the timer here. So now we have a timer, okay? It has built-in timer. So shot is done, so 13 seconds. And then, so we got well, about 50 gram, okay? 50 gram is, like what? I cannot do quick math here. It's about just under two ounce there, okay? I mean, so 50 gram shot is really good. I mean, I, I, I prefer 50 gram shot, okay? So that's more like, actually, prefer, I prefer one to two ratio. But, you know what, I can't wait to try this one, uh, this test done uh, maybe next couple of days. Let's talk about the next couple of days. It'd be, it'd be interesting. So if a value metric is working, okay, doesn't matter what, what the grinder size is, and we're still going to get around 50 gram every time. If that's the case, make our life a lot easier on making coffee. So yeah. 
I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be a fun video. Someone says, off topic, will the Barista Express grind, grinder grind consistently enough to use for the lock of Oni? Someone asked me about the, is a, is a Barista Express, the built-in grinder, is good enough to use La Puboni? Answer is yes, because I do have La Puboni uh, at, at the shop uh, at my work. So I've been, I'm using that one daily. Yes, so yeah, you, you can definitely do it. And is the temperature for the Americano water out of the machine, is it the right temp? So someone, that came down. someone asked me about the water temperature from the spout is the right temperature. You know what? Only thing I can tell you is hot. Okay. It's pretty hot. So yes, based on that, your water temperature is fine. So Marshall says, uh, pro switches from brew to steaming very fast. Steams milk faster too. Much better for cappuccino and lattes. Oh yeah. So again, the pros, the steaming is impressive. Okay. I mean, with Brista Express, you have to wait, you know, at least five or 10 seconds, could be longer. Now is we are already going, okay? I mean, I guess that's benefit of having a thermal jet. So, I mean, really fast, it comes to back and forth, back uh, and forth. Viewer says, Bravo claims that the Pro has nine bars pressure. So Bravo claims it has a nine bar pressure. Mm -hmm. You know what, I mean, I believe it. Okay. So, so far I can't wait to adjust the inner bar on uh, next, uh, maybe tomorrow. Let's do that. Okay. Let's change the inner bar tomorrow. So, and then let's get the right setting there. Okay. And then I, I think I'm going to get some different beans too. Yeah, this bean is too dark, too dark for my taste. So I'm going to switch up. And then, um, can you check the volume metric now with just an empty port filter? Uh, we just did uh, 50 grand. Okay, someone asked me, can you check the value metric now? Yes, I mean, we have, uh, I just run it. So we got 50 gram out. Okay. Oh, hold on, so you're talking about the without the pore filter. Okay, I know what you mean, hold on. Uh, we are going to do the complete test coming week. But, so let's find out, okay? So let's find out how much water we're gonna get out with the double shot. So let's see here. So run for 13 seconds again. About 77 grams, 77 gram there. Because you figure with the portal filter, obviously we have the grounds. Yeah, so the so 77 gram is the how much water coming up as default setting. So um, George says it's not true volumetric. It's volumetric bars on time, not weight. There's a little wheel inside that goes around for a certain amount of time that keeps the flow open. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I think George has a good point as well because the true true value metric. I think a couple of machines I know of, I mean, I, I don't know about home espresso machine, but I know a lot of couple of restaurants, a coffee shop, a couple of shops in Tucson, they have a value metric. I think they are using La Marzocco, I think, because they set at like, you know, one to two ratio, like 36 gram out. And then if 18 gram and 36 gram out, they are truly dead. The sense that they have a scale built in. Once you reach like 36 grams, it shuts up automatically. So. Have you ever tried a wholly low pressure one infusion shot? Low pressure shot? Oh, pre-infusion. Oh yeah, I mean, someone asked me about the have you, have I tried pre-infusion shot? Yes, I have. I, I think, you know, let's do that as well, okay? I have a lot of plan for this motion. I'm gonna put this thing to the test coming week. So again, after I'm done with it, I mean, you know which machine you guys want to get, okay? That's my goal for the week. By the way, uh, I'm planning on doing the Rancherlia Sylvia PID installation uh, this afternoon. So not live though, okay? I'm planning on doing edited version. I realize, you know, it's going to be a mess to go live on that thing. Dane says he has China-grown beans at home. It's great. I got 
I got them as green beans to roast myself. So a uh, shout out to Dane. Dane just got uh, beans from China. Okay. I think it's all dependent on the different origin as well. But yeah, I mean, goodness. And Maybe, I don't know. I can't wait to try that one too. How long does it take to make 50 gram espresso shot? Someone asking me about the how long it's going to take the 50 gram of espresso shot. Uh, all depends. Okay. It's, I mean, you could get a one shot. So if you put 20, uh, 19 gram in it, I mean, you can get a 50 gram espresso, just espresso, if you want. These all depend on your taste. Okay. 50 gram is about just under two ounces. Yeah. I think that's what people like to drink, around two ounces of espresso. So. Personally, I like to drink about 36 grams, so like 1.5 ounce. So this all depends on what you guys like, comes to taste. A viewer says, can you change the units on the scale to ounces? I'm not sure what that means. But someone asking me about the change to units on the ounce. Because with the gram, it's a lot easier to use. So, I mean, that's what I choose to use. The, and like, again, every scale you can change your units. To gram to ounce. So this one I got from Amazon cost me what 15 bucks. So if you have pro at home, okay, I mean you can actually, since we have the timer built in through the pro screen, just like having an Akaya scale. So make your life a lot easier to kind of like, you know, kind of diagnose what's going on with your shot as well. Um. Okay. Do you think roast levels determines brew methods? Is uh, someone asking me about the roast? Justin asking me about the roast level. Yeah, because if you are using the light to medium, you want to brew it in higher temperature. But if you are using darker, you are brewing in the lower temperature. It all depends on the yeah, answer is yes. But I mean, there is, once you start changing your temperature, I mean, you, it's become your hobby, okay? And pretty much you're you going to spend a lot of time um, dialed in just right. So, I mean, if you don't mind doing that, that's a lot of fun to play with, the temperature wise. And somebody says, I understand that pumps are 15 bar when it is static, but designed to drop to nine bars when ideal extraction in progress. Yeah, yeah because I mean, if you are, I mean, I read somewhere, if you want to have a 9 bar pressure, you have to have a 15 bar machine to produce 9 bar. So I think, yeah, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Somebody asked, pull a shot or steam first? Someone asked me about the order of, uh, sh okay, so you want to pull the shot first and then steam or steam versus shot. It's up to you, okay? Personally, I, I like to pull the shot and then I like to steam it because I want the, because I don't want milk to stay wait around because if you wait too long the milk and steam is going to the foam is going to separate it you don't want that so i don't want that on my milk so i usually pull the shot first i mean with the brewster pro i mean it's, it's pretty fast okay pretty fast to do it and which roaster oh uh okay i think i'm gonna take a couple more questions Okay, okay. My, I think, are we good? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we are good, guys. So I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning. And hopefully I'm going to install that PID today, okay? I'm, I'm having my, uh, my friend is uh, one of my technicians at the shop. So he's going to come over this afternoon and help me install it. So, you know, I can tape it and we are going to, you know, get the right angle for you. All the uh, cables and all the connectors. So hopefully... Get my fingers crossed or works. Tomorrow you're doing changing the interval. Uh, so tomorrow morning, uh, tomorrow morning, you know what? Let's tomorrow morning I'm going to show you how to do like grinder setting. Okay, so let's dedicate tomorrow to like grinder setting tomorrow morning. Uh, it's gonna be fun as well. And that tomorrow morning, uh, my wife's not gonna be around, so it's gonna be just us. Okay, and we're gonna change the grinder setting tomorrow. So right now we are number three. So hopefully, I, I want to be that number to be around like, let's say 15 or 16 level because I, because I want to play in the kind of halfway, okay? 
So maybe we can, ins we can change the interval size that we can increase the grinder size to a higher number. So let's play that tomorrow morning. Uh, make sure follow me on Instagram, okay? And then you, if you haven't subscribed my channel, make sure to do so. And because I got a lot of content coming, actually, I, you know, I make video every morning, so. And make sure like the button, uh, like the videos, and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning.